local family, and that's my four children. Now in her early 90s, Christine Stone is in good health and lives at home. She has four children. When she's not showing up family photos, Christine advocates for elderly adults who live in nursing homes and care centers. We're going in reverse fast, I think. We have to have those services out there, and we have to, you know, and if everybody was making a living wage, then we wouldn't have to worry about that. A new proposal in the Minnesota legislature could severely impact the quality of care for nursing home patients. Thirty years ago, Minnesota passed a law that allowed um, equal charging uh, for whether you were in a nursing home under public assistance or welfare, as we used to call it, or if you were a private pay. They could not charge a private pay patient any, any more than they could charge a, a Medicaid patient. And the whole idea behind the bill was to be fair, to make sure that the levels of care were the same regardless of your economic status. If in fact they repeal rate equalization, it, it doesn't hold anybody accountable, and we have to get real about reimburse, reimbursement rates. But if the rate equalization goes, uh, that could go with it too. I mean, that they could have two classes of, of uh, yeah. patients. At a time when we should be investing in future services for the elderly and the most vulnerable, slashing budgets and services is not the way forward for Minnesota. And we should do some analysis on what the real cost of care is in Minnesota and not look at it so much as a cost or a drag, but rather an investment.